In this video, we're going to show the process of creating a backup set that can be used with a NAS device such as a Drobo. The first thing you do after opening Retrospect is go to Configure on the left and then go to Backup Sets. And then click on Create New. And then you're going to choose Disk as your backup set type and click on Next. You can then give it a name like Monday Backup or you can use the default name of Backup Set A. And then you will click on the Select button and click on Advanced to enter in the UNC path to the NAS device. Typically you would start with the IP address followed by a share name. The share name is something you would create on the NAS device itself before configuring these, these steps. I click OK and then I have to enter the authentication. In this case I enter in the username and the password and I click OK. Then Retrospect will ask you how much storage space you want to utilize for backup. You can also choose the option to create a storage group which is new to Retrospect 16. And then you click on Next and then you can set your encryption and you can use no encryption or up to AES 256 bit encryption. And then you click on Next and then you can decide on your data retention policy. You can have Retrospect ask for a new disk when the drive gets full, or you can have Retrospect delete older backups based on the policy choices that you select. And then you click on Next, and then you save the catalog file to the default path, which is usually going to be inside My Documents of the C drive. And then you click on Next and click on Finish. Once you've done that, Retrospect will have the ability to write data to your NAS device. You can also make sure that Retrospect is configured for automatic login for scheduled backups. Under Configure Volumes, you can go to your NAS device, right click, and then go to Properties, and then in the upper corner over here, there's an automatic login button. And in here, you enter in the same credentials so that Retrospect can automatically connect to the device during the next scheduled backup operation.